Hey guys, Dean Joe, welcome back to my channel, and today is going to be episode 2 of my K-pop story time. Woo! When I was preparing for episode 2 of K-pop story time, I asked you guys on my community tab what uh, you'd be more interested in seeing, another girl group or a boy group for episode 2, and at the time when I was looking, it seemed that a lot of people really wanted to see a boy group so I immediately had one in mind that I wanted to do which for today as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be telling you guys the story about one of my favorite underrated fourth gen boy groups D Crunch so anyways let's go ahead and dive on in where it all began with their company All Us Entertainment or All Us Company All Us Company was founded in 2017. The company wouldn't create their first group until 2018, where they would create their first ever boy group, T Crunch. However, prior to their debut, the company would debut a special project group called Gupshikdan. Gupshikdang was a six-member co-ed group slash unit. They debuted on July 10th, 2018 with their digital single of the same name as their group. The group consisted of four future D-Crunch members and two female trainees of All Us. The D-Crunch members part of this project group were O.V., Chanyang, Dylan, and Jungsun. The two female trainees who joined the D Crunch members were Kadam and Hyungjin, who a few years later would debut in the girl group Hot Issue, which we'll talk about on K pop Storytime another day. One of ANS's members, Raun, whom we talked about in episode 1, was also part of All Us Girls' pre debut lineup. D Crunch, also known as Diamond Crunch, was a nine-member boy group consisting of members O.V., Hyun-uk, Hyun-ho, Hyun-woo, Hyun-oh, Min-hyuk, Chan-young, Jung-sung, and Dylan. They debuted on August 6, 2018 with their digital single 0806. The single contained their songs I Want and their title track Palace. The group performed Palace a few times on music shows such as M Countdown, Show Champion, and The Show. A few months later, the group would quickly return with their first ever comeback. D Crunch made their first ever comeback on November 12, 2018 with their first mini album, M1124 Colors. The album consisted of the songs I Miss You, I'm Okay, Now, and their title track, Stealer. The group would perform their first comeback a few times on music shows again, this time being M Countdown, Show Champion, and Music Bank. This comeback would wrap up 2018 promotions for D Crunch until about six months later. On May 27th, 2019, D Crunch made their comeback with their second mini album, M0527. This album had the songs Love Race, Love Letter, Panorama, and their title track, Are You Ready? The group would promote their title track, Are You Ready? for over a month on the music shows M Countdown, Show Champion, and The Show. 
They also got the opportunity to perform at KCON Japan 2019 with this comeback as well. I got the opportunity to see d q u e n c h perform Are You Ready live on the show while I was in Korea during that time frame. This was how I had become a fan of them. A few months later, on October 16th, 2019, d q u e n c h debuted in Japan with their di- digital single of the Japanese version of their song Are You Ready. Their Japanese debut would wrap up promotions for 2019. On January 15th, 2020, D Crunch released their digital single Together Puppy Part 7 with their song Promise You. D Crunch participated in this single and project, which helped spread awareness of stray dogs, and all of the proceeds made with the song would go to charities helping stray dogs. This special single would be the last release with All Us Company. On February 5th, 2020, D Crunch's contracts with All Us Company expired. And D Crunch announced that all of the members would sign to their new agency, AI Grand Korea. This would mark that All Us Company had shut down sometime in 2020 as they transferred D Crunch over to AI Grand Korea. Although it could also have been that All Us Company changed CEOs and therefore changed the name, as their practice room and official social media accounts were still the same. Their pre debut girl group, All Us Girls had also stopped posting on their social media accounts, marking that the group's debut would be cancelled. On May 22nd, 2020, D Crunch would make their comeback with the digital single Pura. A few months later, on October 20th, 2020, the group made their comeback with their third mini album. Across the Universe. The album contained the songs One Word, Have a Good Young, Flower Cup, and their title track Across the Universe. Across the universe. However, for their comeback with Across the Universe, AI Grand announced that member Hyunwoo. Could not participate in this comeback due to having back pain. A few months later, on December 28th, 2020, AI Grand would be making sad news as they released a statement saying that Hyunwoo would be leaving the group due to health issues. Even though 2020 was a busy year for D Crunch, they had to face losing a member. 2021 would not get any better. On April 6, 2021, D Crunch made their comeback with their fourth mini album, Daydream. On the album were the songs Time to Go to You, Childlike, Sandcastle, and their title track, My Name. Just call them my name. The group continued as an eight member boy group during the time of this comeback. However, a few months later, On November 9th, 2021, AI Grand had made another announcement. They stated that Min Hyuk would be leaving the group due to personal reasons. They also stated that member Dylan would be going on hiatus due to health concerns. The group would be losing another member, being a seven member group. And with one member going on hiatus, they would be continuing to promote as a six member group. There was no more news about D Crunch for the remainder of 2021. On March 25th, 2022, D Crunch would be making their final comeback with their digital single, Addiction. The single consisted of the songs Love You, Challenge, and their title track, Addiction. The group performed on music shows just like all of their previous comebacks. Dylan was still on hiatus at the time, so this comeback only consisted of the six active members. Little did fans know that this would be the group's final comeback. On October 21st, 2022, AI Grand initially released a statement saying that Dylan would be leaving the group due to health issues. Fans were upset that the group would be losing yet another member. However, they were not prepared for the next news. 
On November 9, 2022, just 19 days after AI Grand had announced Dylan would be leaving the group, the company announced that DeCrunch would be officially disbanding. They stated that all of the members would be going their separate ways as a few of them wanted to pursue careers in acting, as well as self-producing their own music. In conclusion, D-Crunch was definitely one of the underrated 4th gen boy groups that deserved a lot more in my opinion. They suffered greatly by losing their initial company, losing several members, and having overall poor promotions. Most of their music videos barely reached a decent amount of views, with Palace and Steeler being the only music videos to have a decent amount of views, reaching a little over 1 million. It was definitely a matter of time until the group was going to end, but seeing them perform live and becoming a fan of them, I was really hoping they would have continued to make music for just a little longer. For the current status of the members, Hyunho has joined U Entertainment and is currently an actor. However, he recently enlisted in the military this year. OV, his birth name being Sang Chang, is currently active on Instagram. Hyunho is active on Instagram and is part of the music group called High Season. There's not much information on High Season, however, it seems to be a group of independent artists who work together to create music. Jung Sung is currently in the military, but is also active on his Instagram. Chan Young is currently an actor, however, it's unclear whether or not he signed with a company. Dylan, his birth name being Yeon Jae, is active on Instagram. Both Minhyuk and Hyunwoo supposedly have Instagram accounts, however, both accounts seem to be private. It's best to say they are trying to have normal lives. As for Hyunwook, there is no information on his whereabouts. That was episode 2 of my K-pop story time, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, D-Crunch was one of my favorite boy groups and like I said, I got to see them perform their song, Are You Ready, in Korea. This video actually, this performance behind me, um, is actually the day that I saw them live in Korea. So this was actually the performance that I was sitting in the live studio watching. And that's how I became a fan of them for the first time, is through this performance of Are You Ready. So it's just so sad about the way that they went, especially since like I became such a big fan with like all of their albums and everything like I I was keeping up to date with them for sure. I know I didn't really mention it in my episode one but I will be leaving down the members that are active on all the social media um, down in the in the comments. I'll leave all the links and everything so you guys can go check out their Instagrams and all their other social medias that they might have. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my social media links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!